Hello, I am Sentimus Prime, and here I will be unboxing the Transformers Legacy United Deluxe Class Star Raider Cannonball, of which will be my first uh, experience unboxing one of these Legacy United figures. So, starting off, we'll, we will be taking a look at the packaging, as per usual. Starting off with the stuff that's like, uh, pr that's pretty standard with these Transformers, like, legacy boxes. We have the Transformers written here on, the Transformers written here on the side. We got Arctic Car... Tommy logos or Hasbro logos Generations We got our traditional shaping of our legacy boxes Yeah, fairly neat very fairly neat indeed Of course here we have our look at this Legacy United logo looks nice. Here, down here, we do see in four, in four different languages, we, you can tell that this is indeed a deluxe class. Here we have the name and faction of the, of this character. <coughs> Up here we have the eight plus thing. And of course here, and of course up front we do get some nice box art of the vehicle mode and this open and this infamous open display of the figure himself over here on the side we do get this really neat uh box art of cannonball in his robot mode and a close up of his face right there That's neat. Bottom, there's not much to talk about. It's just your usual, like, stuff you put down there. Over here, on he on this side, we do get our, f we do get on this channel our first look at this, like, Legacy United, like, poster art thing that they usually put on the sides of these. Yeah, very neat. We do get a lot of stuff going on here. We do get like a little moon, a moon up there. We got Tiger Hawk, half of Windblade, half of Magmatron, some uh, some Armorizers. We got Tasmanian Kid up there. We got a tiny little uh, Energon Megatron and Thundertron. All that stuff and. Do you see that this is a 40th anniversary of Transformers sort of thing? Trying. Because, yeah, it has been around for that long. That's, in, that's impressive. Up here, not much to talk about. It's just the, the hanger peg and, and like the Legacy United thing. Over here on the back, just your standard stuff. You got some, like, pro you got some, like, product shot, got some product renders, render shots of the figure in his robot mode and his vehicle mode and the, and the number of steps, uh, used to take him, to transform him from robot to car mode. Up here, we even, and even up here, we get a bit of a shot. We get some. We got a a shot that's showing. Got an image here that's showing us one of the gimmicks of this figure, which is the Cyber Planet key, which is neat, super neat. We got the name again. We got Transformers. We got 40th anniversary, and of course all the stuff down here. Very, very nice packaging. It, of course, talking more about the like the United part of this boxes in this more blue 
sort of thing, which is neat. So it has a sort of blue and sort of lava tone to it, which is nice, which I believe is what they're going for. So that's really neat. Now, before I actually get to the unboxing, I would actually like to uh, talk about the density of this packaging. Because, and what I mean by this is, I'm going to bring in a pack, one of the boxes from, from Legacy and Legacy Evolution. Now they're empty boxes of skids and crosscut, but that's not important. I'm talking about the density of the boxes. So, with the skids box, you can tell as I, like, hold it and slightly press down on it, it, it you can tell that it is incredibly flimsy. And no, that's, that's not because I open it up. That's not because I open it, because the top is completely unopened because I open it from the bottom. The legacy boxes are just that flimsy. You can like push this in. You can like, yeah, it's incredibly flimsy. The evolution box boxes are slightly better. Like, I can, I can feel that it's slightly more dense than the Legacy box. But with that said, it still feels quite, it still feels significantly flimsy. I can still push this in, I can still squeeze this, I can still, like, push this up here out of line. I'm kinda crazy kind of crazy but there's that this box it the legacy the united packaging is quite interesting to me because if i hold it like this if, and if i like try to hold it and if i try squeezing it a little it does it doesn't it doesn't look, it doesn't look and it feels and looks a lot more sturdy than those other two. Because you can tell that they have used a thick, a thicker, more dense cardboard to make this box so that it feels a whole lot less flimsy. And I, it can, I can still like, move that around a bit, but it doesn't, like, pop in and out like the other two d does. And I can try to squeeze this in, and this is not moving out of line. I try squeezing this. This, the Legacy, the United packaging feels a lot more dense, to, feels a lot more dense than the other two. And I don't, and I don't, uh, hear anyone else talking about this. Because this is quite interesting to me. Now, the open packaging of revealing the figure, yeah, that's still, like, not that great. That's still, like, not that great. And I am so glad that they are, that they are working on bringing back, like, window displays for these figures. That's, like, that's much appreciated. But I will say, the United packaging does feel a whole lot more dense, and that is not just with the deluxes, that's with all of these, like, open display, like, boxes. Which, I'm glad, which I'm glad is a lot more dense, considering that, that these boxes have a whole lot of, feel a whole lot more flimsy and a whole lot more fragile, because that they're because there's no, like, window here to keep, to, like, help keep things sturdy. So, so it is nice that they, at least for the third, like, part of the trilogy, made these boxes a whole lot more sturdy. Kind of reminds me of G2 Bionicle packaging in that regard, where the 2015 stuff felt 
as flimsy as this, whereas the 2016 packaging, whereas the 2016 like lineup packaging felt more sturdy, like this. Sort of reminds me of of G2 Bionicle in that regard. But enough with the packaging. We've already talked enough about the packaging. I'd say, don't you think? So with that. Let's get into the actual unboxing itself. Now, uh, now of course, as per as per use, I'm going to I'm going to uh take my exacto blade, and, like cut open that cut that tape. That piece of tape open. Huh. Another thing I noticed. Another, huh, another, another thing I noticed. These legacy and evolution pa packages have these have these uh tabs. I want to show show it off at least. Yeah, there is. The legacy and evolution ones have these tabs. So right here, after I after I uh, cut open the tape, this the legacy the United one doesn't really have that. It's just cut cut the piece of tape and open and open sesame. Interesting. And of course, let's get this thing out of the, out of his packaging. Set that aside for now. Here we have the instructions. Well, here we have the piece of paper that comes with all these things. We can set that aside. Here we have the instructions for for cannonball fairly neat and here we got a good look at this background which appears which appears to be like this nice like white and blue like texturing thing for the back for like the cardboard tray in this a uh, box which which as i found is a star is a star raider like sort of subline packaging thing because yes the star the star raider for his name is actually like part of this like sort of subline of legacy united i i know i noticed this because the legacy united packaging usually has these cardboard trays in a more orangey yellowish color so like a obvious an obvious way to tell between your usual your regular like united packaging and your star raider like packaging check the background of the check the cardboard tray of the background it to see if it's this blue color that's an or or you could just read the name on the front like but with that, we, we can now get this open. We do get this, like, little Autobot, like, accessory burrito. That we can just cut the tape for. Yeah, we can get in, dig into this first. You can also cut it like, through, through there, but be careful as... To not damage the accessories. And yeah, there we go. We got setting this off to the side. Yeah, here we got our like accessories that are that come with that burrito. So here we have his like sort of light bar. Accessory, sort of light bar thing. 
here we got this like little this like little like ham like piece which is going to become like his hammer and like this sort of grabber claw looks very nice has some like additional like imports and stuff and he and here we have a cyber planet key whoops dropped it man this is actually kind of this is actually kind of cool this is actually like the first like cyber planet key that I've, I ever have my hands on and yes I know that like these modern like cyber planet keys are significantly smaller than the like ones that were common like back in, back in the Cybertron toy line but still like really neat still like a really neat thing that's that's pretty cool and enough of that now let's get into take getting cannonball out of the packaging so of course they have these uh plastic these rubbery plastic ties and I cut one off from the legs cut the one off from the chest and the, and the two little ones in the arms and of course we sheath that back in because we, I don't want to get cut Let's pull these ties out. Set that side. Set pull these ties out. Now we can actually get this dude out of his cardboard. So we can, what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip these doors up and we're gonna just move his legs out of and move him down so we can push him out of the box and we can now set this aside and we can now take a look at cannonball out of packaging out of his packaging and like yeah that that's really cool wow what Yeah, that, that looks sick. That looks sick. A joint tolerances, joint, like, joint tolerance wise, the doors, the door, the doors are a good, like, tightness. I wonder if, well, trying to see if this can, like, push out I am noticing a tiny little stress mark right here. I do notice that stress mark out of the pack. Well, I noticed it in while well, he was in the packaging as well, but there is that. Um, the head, the head is a is good. It's not springy. It's not really springy. It's not really springing back in, in, in any significant way. So that's good. Uh, shoulders. I'm actually really glad because I, I was actually like kind of, I was actually kind of worrying that his shoulders wouldn't be that tight. Wouldn't be like, wouldn't, would be like super loose or something. But nope. His shoulders feel nice. As to, ooh, that, that wrist rotation, very tight. Waist rotation's nice. The hips do feel quite a bit, do feel 
pretty tight. Knees feel fine. Ankle tilts are fine. Like, man, this is, like, really cool. And, wow. I didn't really get to see a whole lot of this gold out of the, in the box, in the packaging. Wow, look at that gold shine. And that, this is a, like, this gold looks so pretty. Like, this shade of gold looks so, like, yeah, th like, this gold, like, out of box, yeah. Out of, like, straight out of the box, yeah, this, this gold looks so pretty. I do, it is a, it is a swirly gold plastic, so I am kind of, so I, so I do feel kind of worried about this in terms of long term, in terms of like long term, but like out of box, out of, right out of the box, it, this is a real, this is a really nice like shade of gold. It does have like little gold cannon things in the back. They're kind of misaligned, but I think I can like. I think I can like fix. See if I can like fix that later. Oh, there we go. I can like, I can like fold them in and stuff like that. Okay. So, okay, so we can, like, plug, like, this light bar into the back and make the back look really nice. does have a little bit of a kibbly backpack, but hey, but hey, that's not that big of a deal. My, my first impressions and overall thoughts on this cannonball figure really good really good i do do feel do feel really impressed with this figure and as for my like overall like first impressions as for legacy united packaging as a whole pretty good it feels it uh, feels significantly more sturdy than the previous two, like, parts of this trilogy. So yeah, overall, first impressions of this guy, really great. Really great indeed. And with that, uh, that'll be it. If you enjoyed this unboxing, uh, consider to like and subscribe and maybe even comment if you want. And of course, I will be posting again sooner or later.